A surprising cause of depression. So is depression a problem in America? 151 million worldwide are afflicted with, with uh, depression. And if you look at uh, the diseases in America, it is number two, only behind heart disease. So it's a significant problem. We have known for a long time that depression can be caused by inflammation in your body. How long have we known that? Look at this study, 1887, Julius Wagner started writing about the connection between depression and inflammation. And he later won the Nobel Prize for the kind of work that he did. So the cause of inflammation is, uh, the cause of uh, depression is an inflammatory mood pathway. They, t they tend to think that it's more biologic in nature than mental. So let me give you some, some data on this. Mood disorders are linked to inflammation. That is, the depressed people have higher lab tests that show that they are inflamed. Those with inflammation, inflammatory diseases have a greater level of depression. And number three, dr drugs that cause inflammation tend to increase your risk of depression. Vaccines, for example, we know they cause inflammation and they cause de depressive symptoms in many people. And those depressive symptoms can last for up to 10 weeks. Toxins also cause an inflammatory response and your mood decreases significantly when you get these toxins in your body compared to no toxins in your body. Depression is an inflammatory disease. So does an anti-inflammatory diet help? Does an inflammatory diet make it worse? Well, to figure that out, they did a study of 43,000 women without depression, and they followed these women for 12 years. What was the conclusion of the study? Those with an inflammatory diet had much more depression. Inflammatory diet is associated with higher levels of depression. But where does this inflammation in the body come from? There are two main places it comes from. Number one, oxidative stress. That is the food you are putting into your delivery system, one of the systems of your body. That food can cause an inflammatory response. And in America, we eat an inflammatory diet. And number two, if you are stimulating your defense system, your immune system, it's going to cause inflammation in your body because that's how this system gets rid of bad things. But it can cause a chronic inflammation. So the real answer to decreasing inflammation is to fix the seven systems of your body. We know that drugs that lower inflammation also improve your mood. And we know that good food lowers inflammation and improves your mood. Now the problem with drugs, there's side effects that go along with them. What's the problem that goes along with eating good food? No problem, lots of benefits. So what foods do you think help decrease inflammation? Fruits and vegetables, yes, I heard that. They are the big things for improving your mood and improving your mood in one day, studies show. The real answer for depression is to decrease inflammation and there's no better way to do that than following the seven systems plan.